I'm going to leave today. Dick's uh, waiting for me in Lancaster, but first I'm going to have my mole removed. This one over here, I don't know how well you can see it. I'm going to have Johnny Brewer take that off. Then I'll have a bandage on for a couple of days. I'm all packed up here, almost all packed. I think Mama might give me a little cash make sure that I have some money in case we have car trouble and I have to get my mole removed I'm scared I don't like a shot I don't like Novocaine maybe he'll let me video it and I won't have to think about it anyway I'm almost ready to go down there and have this mole removed you think it'll be bad Oh well, I guess I've weathered worse storms than this one. But I don't know. This is my face after all. Mama says he'll put a bandage on there. I don't want to walk out of there looking like Frankenstein's monster. Hey dog. Hey little Baptist dog. Wonder if Jeannie and Ryan are up across the street. Hey, Brownie, is that you? Is that Harry's dog? Hey, Harry's dog, look. Hey, 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 you know me. Hey, hey, puppy. Uh uh. Go back now. Go back. Bye bye. Bye bye. Look at that cute dog. The Mobleys have reared him right. There's Jeannie's house. And Ryan. A little misty today. It's kind of pretty out here though. My old hometown's looking kind of good. Billy Joe's old house. Used to come down here and play with my girlfriend all the time. Bill Clyburn lives here now, Billy Joe's grandmother's house. Actually, it was his house as well. And this is where Jeannie grew up, across the street. Jeannie Brewer and Billy Brewer, Dr. Brewer and Big Jean. Now John Clyburn lives there. On the next block up here is the clinic really is kind of misty out here today. It's a little strange for Kershaw. You don't very often see so much mist and grayness everywhere like this in Kershaw. This is more like San Francisco. And here we are at the clinic. This is the El Brewer Clinic. Would you look at that tree? That's a mighty oak. Look. John Brewer, M.D., Dermatology. But that's not the John Brewer that I grew up with. I grew up with his daddy, Dr. John. We call this one Dr. Johnny. Not sure they're open yet. Nelson. Yeah, Dr. Brewer has called us about you. Oh, he warned you, I he guess, huh? He warned us. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to scare my own medical practitioners half to death. Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, I need for you to sign in on the book there. All right, I'm going to get busy with the paperwork now. Okay. Nurse Faye has asked me to turn my camera off, and I'm going to comply since I'm at their mercy. Dr. John had just arrived with his coffee. It's 9.30 now. I hope this won't take too long. I have to go back to Atlanta today. Pretty soon I won't have this mole on my face. See it? Can you see it? There are lots of medical forms around here. I've already filled out some. 
These aren't mine, but they're very interesting. Oh yeah, interview with Pelf and Shirley MacLaine. Is that your friend? Well, what do you know? Dr. John is reading interview here for the work day. This one from April. April when? A couple of years ago? Yes, there we go. Dr. Karen Burke by Andy Warhol. This is Johnny's friend Karen. And her office is on Madison or Park? I think she's on Park. Yeah. How do you know? Andy's dermatologist. Well, I might call her up and tell her that I was just down here with you. Okay. You knew her in Atlanta or New York? No, I've met her. Meetings. Met her in meetings. Very pretty. You don't give I used to work for Pierre Michel there. Did you? Before they moved to the Trump Tower. They moved they, they were on fifty seventh Street and mm -hmm. Fifth. And then they moved across the street at the Trump Tower. Yeah. Yeah, I know some people that work for interview. I never really liked them too much. So you about ready? Yeah, I'm We're about to begin, so the next time you see me, I won't have this mole on my face. I'll have a bandage instead. I think that's an improvement, don't you? Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Johnny. You're welcome. That wasn't bad at all. Mm -mm. You want to see what it looks like? What, the, the mole? Yeah. I mean, what? What, this? Yeah. Not really. You don't have to take this off. Okay. You want to show me? or You can show me. Is it hard to take off? He's going to let us see what it looks like now. Uh... This is where I had my operation. Hey, you want to get me out? It didn't hurt a bit. I was scared to death and it didn't even hurt. Get me out. Now, what you need? I need some more bandages. Bandages are just, well. I want bandages up again. I want to show him. He's got to show me now. I got somebody about to freeze back there with I think that lady's got fleas. Close on. You're talking about the no, lady? No, I got one in the light waiting mm. for me to debris. Wow. That's the way it was, uh. Uh huh. So it's going to make a scab. The whole area is going to scab over there. Yeah. Let me look at it. Oh, yes, yes, that's an improvement. You know. It should be an artist, because right in your smile line there. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Shouldn't be a problem. The main thing, I don't want you to pick it. I don't want you to put anything but rubbing alcohol. What about, keep um... It, keep it dry, you wash around it, do not shave over it. Yeah. If I get worried about rubbing it at night or anything? You don't want me to put a Band-Aid on it? No, because the Band-Aid will get it infected. You, it keeps too much moisture in there. You want to leave it out in the air. We want it dry. Okay. Dry. That's good. All right. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Now I feel like Clark Gable. Don't forget your antibiotic. <gasps> take this four times a day. Uh-huh. Go ahead and take one right now. All right. Okay. Basically, that's what time today. Bye. Thank you, Johnny. I'm going to take my first erythromycin. <sighs> Am I finished? You're finished. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. It's been nice pleasant. Now I have to go back to Atlanta and then back to Yankee Land. Oh.
was nice meeting you. Bye bye. You should take all your antibodies. Right I will four times a day. Oh, okay. That'll be seven and a half days. Yeah. Pleasure. Thanks, Johnny. It was Good. great to see Good. you. Good. Thank you. I'm gonna tell Marco okay. that you said hello too. All right. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Johnny. What do we need uh, insurance wise? You want me to send nobody told me about payment or anything? Yes, you send it what you got. You got you got the coverage? Yeah, I got the coverage at work. Okay. Just send it to me. I'll send the forms all filled out and everything and y'all can right. take it from there. You need to send two because you need to send one to the lab. I will send one to the lab later. All right. So you need two forms. All right. Thank you, bye. You know, you told me if any question about how to take care of that. Okay, Johnny. All right. Thanks. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. My new face. Compliments of the Brewer Clinic. It's kind of pretty day out here. I think I'll go over there and see if Joan's home yet from wherever it is she went. Look at this. There's not a whole lot of traffic or anything today in Kershaw. It's Monday morning. Maybe it's a holiday. Here comes a car. We'll wave at him. Hey. They wave back. Let's go back here and see who's at Joan's house. I see there's a truck running back here with the exhaust so must be somebody at home hey puppy hey puppy dog anybody home come here hey. <laughs> come here puppy it's all right look at that dog hey come here nice my boy Well, ain't nobody out here. Just the truck warming up. And it's starting to rain, and I doubt if that's Joan's truck anyway. So I think I'll just go on home because we gotta go to Lancaster so Dick can take me back to Atlanta so that eventually I'll end up back in New York. Look at these rushes. Just like the River Nile here in Kershaw. It sure is a pretty little town.